We're going to go ahead and start the podcast here in three, two, one. Welcome, everybody. My name is Brian. This podcast is brought to you by Fifine, a microphone company. Send us a mic to try out. Uh, today, I have a special guest with me today. His name is uh, Landon. Welcome, Landon. I'm stoked to have you, dude. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, you must have. You must be a little jet lagged. Now Landon flew all the way out here just to kind of have a conversation with us, and um, he's got a pretty interesting outlook on life. And we'll kind of kind of go from there. Uh, with that, um, our first uh, question, I guess I'm gonna, I guess it's not really a question, but maybe you can tell us a little bit. With the first, it's not really a question, but maybe you could tell us a little bit about yourself. What are some of your hobbies? What do you do for work? It's kind of a weird question. What's with the hairbrush? You take that everywhere you go? All right. So with the hobbies, you said you like to shake your rattle. You like to yell a lot. I can see that. And uh, you like to grab your boss's boob. I think that's... Are you, I, I don't really want you to show us how you do it. Um, that's kind of a form of s sexual harassment, but you probably should have mentioned that on the podcast. Yeah, you probably shouldn't. What is uh what's on your bucket list? What do you uh what do you want to scratch off that list by the end of the year? What's some of the things you like to do or would like to do? Nothing. Um I would like to travel. For me, I would like to go to like Thailand or Bali or something. What is what's a place that you would like to travel? What do you think? That's awesome. I would also like to visit the polar bears in the Antarctica. But guess what, bud? Polar bears are in the Arctic. Uh, penguins are in Antarctica. So, um, yeah. That would be pretty cool, though. Uh, next question, kind of just rattling off from there. Uh, what is your stance on global warming? How much, how much did you have to drink before this? I'm pretty sure I told your assistant to not give you any drinks before we started the podcast. Only two drinks? I guess it's okay, but you dropped your, you dropped your hairbrush. Let's see, I'll give you your hairbrush back. You kind of do seem a little intoxicated. What do you, um... What is your five-year plan? What does that look like? Nice. Great five-year plan. It sounds like it's going to be pretty hard um, to kind of obtain some of that. But I think you can do it. Totally set your mind to it, and you can get there. Um, I understand you're still living at home. Is that correct? I don't know what's with your uh, this younger uh, younger generation, um, with you guys still living at home and whatnot. I guess I'm trying to be financially stable. I get it. Um, let's kind of move on to the next question. Um, it's kind of a curveball, but what's your standing on politics? Not a fan. Yeah, it's kind of confusing. Um, what do you think about uh, President Trump? Okay. I, I get it. Yeah. I guess we're just going to kind of wrap this up with uh, what did you think about the new, the new mic? How'd you like it? Nice. Very affordable. Um, quality's great. For those who want to start a podcast, this actually isn't a podcast. This is a uh, going to turn into a review 
on a mic that Amazon sent us. We will get into a more intensive review right now. We would like to sign off by saying... All right. I think that means let's get on with the review. All right, this is the box right here. Um, I don't really want to do a long unboxing, so we're just going to do this. You get the mic, the Fifine mic. It's got a volume knob on it. We'll get into that more. Shock mount the arm for your desk. This goes on here to mount this to the desk. If you don't want to do the desk mount, you can do the stand that just goes right on your desk by your keyboard or something. And then you get a nice really long cable to just plug and play right into your computer. So we are going to get into that some more. So let's do it. We are currently using the Shure SM7B. Uh, this is my daily driver when it comes to mics, doing voiceovers or vocals or whatever you want to use this for. It's absolutely phenomenal, but it's expensive. It's $399 for just the mic. That doesn't mention like getting the XLR cables or a compressor or a mix amp or a, a mixer, sorry. So if you're somewhat on a budget, Feefine has sent me a mic to do a review on. Um, Feefine, the package on Amazon is $50 total. I think it's a little bit cheaper than this. I think it's like 46 or something if you have Prime. Um, if you're on a budget, I think that is a great option to do if you want to start a podcast and you're unsure if you really want to do it or not, or if you just want some basic vocals for your videos, doing tutorials and stuff like that. So I thought this would be a great video to share with the channel um, with doing tutorials and all that jazz if you want to get into it. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to switch over from the Sure straight to the Fifine, and I'm going to give you guys kind of a comparison on what you think is the best. So here we go, switching over. And this is the Fifine. So with the Fifine, you're going to have a condenser mic. So if you have noises in your room, it's going to pick up a lot of noises, such as it might be picking up my heater in the background currently, whereas a directional mic or shotgun mic won't pick up nearly as much as that compared to a condenser mic. This is how it sounds compared to the Shure mic. It, you're going to notice a big difference, but if you're on a budget, this might be a, a good option for you to choose when you are looking to start doing like some vocals as a beginner or um, starting a channel or a podcast. This is a good place to start for how cheap it is. So this is the Fifine mic, and now this is the Sure mic. This is the Fifine mic, and now this is the Shure mic. So you're gonna notice this is a little bit more bassy. I like it per my voice. There's a lot of stuff that you can do uh, with the Fifine mic. You can also add a parametric equalizer inside of Adobe Audition or whatever you're using for the program to add some more lows to that mic to make it sound like that radio voice that everybody kind of goes for. So this is the Shure mic, and now we're back to the Fifine mic. So this is the Shure mic, and now we're back to the Fifine mic. So you're definitely gonna notice a difference, and that's what you get with price usually when it comes to mics. Depending on how this sounds, you can also go in to say Adobe Audition that we're in right now. We're currently recording, but we've selected the clip prior to this. Uh, you can go up to effects and you can go into filter and EQs and you can add a parametric equalizer and then bring up the, the lows, the bass. They even have presets in there for vocal enhancer that you can choose and that might actually better what it sounds like. And we're gonna go into that now. This is Fifine without parametric equalizer and this is Fifine with the parametric equalizer. Depending on what you wanna do, this is, I mean, it doesn't sound bad for 50 bucks, to be completely honest. And now we're back to the regular mic. So the only other issue that I kind of have with this mic is that um, the volume knob. You have to really be careful with this volume knob. It sounds like it's too loud and it's kind of, it seems like it's clipping, which it may be. This is like maybe a tenth of the way of that volume line. Anywhere between the very, very low, very, very slight, amount because it'll just so like me bringing this up me bringing this up right now is just a little nudge and it's getting louder and louder and louder it should be getting louder and uh this is a probably about the sweet spot that i'll keep it because if i go any higher than this the audio gets blown out and it's that's the only downside about this mic is it's cool that there's a volume up i can quickly turn it off real quick
and then you can turn it back on if you want to start chatting again if you need to mute your mic if you're playing a game or whatever it may be but now we're going to switch back over to the sure and finish this up so all in all um the fee fine is it can be a really really good mic um depending on how you use it as long as you're not turning this volume knob all the way up and you're keeping it kind of somewhat low depending on the voice everybody's voice is different usually you want to buy a mic for your certain voice if you're a, a lady and you um want it to be not as bassy and you want it to have more highs you there might be a different mic that you want to choose i just preferred i ended up going and testing out a few mics at a guitar center and i found that i really liked the sound of my voice through this mic to me i like it for doing voiceovers for telling a story in videos and stuff like that. So what do you guys think? Do you think the fee finds good for 50 bucks? You can also get just the mic for $30 from their website. I mean that, that's pretty kick ass for a mic. If you're just starting out and you only got 30 bucks and you don't want to spend $400 on the top dog. Let me know your guys' opinions. I know this wasn't super in depth with the audio, but I just wanted to give you some comparisons so you can kind of figure out which direction you want to go with making videos or doing whatever you're doing. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Please slap that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and it helped you. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.